You're watching Center Stage with Rahul Kabo. Good evening. There is a protest happening at every nook and corner. Anna is the talk not just of the town in New Delhi, he's the talk of the nation. The support is rising every minute. The numbers of protests swelling. Who are these people? What, what, what brings them out into the streets? Do they really march for Anna? Is the revolution Anna Hazare is hoping for being fueled by the media? Or is this a desperate government's attempt to shift blame? The media says remove the cameras, the protesters will go back home. This is a media-fueled andolan. Is that really the case? We'll be debating that on Centre Stage this evening at 9.30 p.m. Dilip Cherin, one of India's best-known PR consultants, Arthur Singh Bal, political editor of the Open Magazine, Shabnam Hashmi, social activist, Shobha De, one of India's best-known authors, Smriti Rani, actor, leader of the BJP. will be joining us as also Bharat Bhushan, editor, Mail Today. We'll debate whether this is a media-sponsored, media-fueled, agitation or has the government read the public mood completely wrong let's get started these are the stories that are making the headlines government pleads and pro prostrates but anna hazare drives a hard bargain from inside tehar jail government offers anna to fast at ramlila maidan for 21 days but anna says give an undertaking in writing first that uh, Anna should be allowed, that's what he has said, should be allowed to sit unconditionally, resume his fast unconditionally at JP Park or any other public park within central Delhi. Western analysts are calling this the Indian Spring. A million mutinies erupt across the country as botched crackdown fuels anger against the government. Protests hit schools, courts, corporations across the country. BJP tears into PM's speech defending Anna's arrest, accuses the government of being oppressive. Arun Jaitley says PM lacks the political will to fight corruption. Divided stands the Congress over the Anna crackdown. Party MPs voice their angst against the fumbling, bumbling and bungling government. Their party should have shown more imagination. We have a very honest Prime Minister. It should be rather the Congress which should be taking the initiative on this. As today there's a lot of unrest, what we see as politicians is there's a lot of unrest in the whole of the country amongst the youth for various reasons. Parliament launches impeachment proceedings against a High Court judge as Rajya into a courtroom, Justice Sen defends himself, says he's innocent and will prove it. It seems that the concept of presumption of innocence has now been reversed into a concept of presumption of guilt. The government never really held the advantage, but their bungling ways have ensured that Anna is now dictating terms. And that too from inside Tehar Jail. The government is in a terrible bind, firmly put on the mat by a 74-year-old who by sheer force of his moral courage is beating the government on their every move. Two's options are shrinking from three days, they moved five, then seven, and now they are agreeing to a 21-day permission for Anna to fast. For the government, this is a losing battle, where Anna has shown them who's boss. For some, Tihar is Delhi's new Tahrir Square. The night-long vigil failed to dampen the spirit of Hanna's band of supporters. Candles kept burning through the night. So did the anger in the hearts of the hundreds assembled. One such person that I found right outside here in the unlikeliest of places outside the Tihar jail in Delhi is someone called Mrs. Nalini Sate, who's traveled all the way from Saudi Arabia 
and I would like to make an appeal to all the Indians all around the world. Get together. This is your fight. This is for your nation. And the youth have to get together. These protesters won't be deterred. Even if the word from inside Pihar was that the 74-year-old is refusing to leave. Anna ji ka ye kehna hai ki main apne ghar se nikla tha JP Park mein Anshan ke liye jaane ke liye ab main yahan se JP Park hi jaunga aur yahan se jaane se pehle Anna ji ne rehai ke liye mana kar diya hai main reha nahi hona chahta hu tab tak reha nahi hona chahta hu jab tak ki JP Park mein baithne ke liye hame bina shart anumati likhit mein nahi mil jati hai In the administrative block of Tehar jail Anna spent the night in an air conditioned conference room refusing to eat and drink anything outside a spiritual leader tried to levitate himself beyond the gate he was denied permission but with the first light of dawn he was back also back was this new slogan And why just Sri Sri? Anna's legion of supporters just continued to swell. The biggest relief was this message from inside Tehar. Our every official in Tehar was too cooperative, too, I mean, good in behavior. So we don't have any. Uh, I mean, it's beyond our expectations. As the government buckled under pressure, Anna's army started their trek. to the new epicenter of the fight against graft so here people have come across the country some of them have come from all the way from jharkhand and they are holding the protest march here at india gate and the anger is palpable and now the people who be holding the protest march from here to parliament and it it there that these anna supporters are ready to take on government on the issue of corruption bureau report headlines today Thanks to Anna Hazare the government seems to have lost its sense of balance and the BJP has found its lost voice and both things were there to see in a cracking debate in both houses of parliament today the prime minister was forced to make a statement by a united opposition and once he did he was slammed by an assertive BJP which faulted him for his meek stance and flimsy explanations honorable madam speaker If the prime minister actually believed his statement on Anna Hazare in both houses would end the controversy surrounding his arrest he was badly mistaken I am left wondering as to who really runs this country and who rules this country The BJP's Arun Jaitley tore into every defense Manmohan Singh had to offer Sri Anna Hazare and his supporters would have been allowed to hold their protest fast if they had accepted the conditions and with the permission was granted and had undertaken to abide by those conditions have this government lost all sense of statecraft how political agitations are to be dealt with for holding a protest dharna or a fast when is it that the regime of the day says i will impose 22 conditions on this protest shri anna hazare and his supporters would commit a cognizable offence and there was a likelihood of a breach of peace hence shri anna hazare and six others were arrested as a preventive measure under section 151 1/107 of the criminal procedures code your people can go and break uh, section 144 in any adjoining state in uttar pradesh and you can say a right to protest is my fundamental right but when it comes to delhi you adopt an alternative argument that track record is they have never indulged in violence they have not disrupted public order delhi police has the authority charged with the responsibility took the minimum steps necessary to maintain peace and tranquility in the capital city political leadership of this country is really hiding behind the men in uniform 
and tell India's parliament and Indian people that this entire crisis was being handled by some policemen. In my Independence Day address, I spoke at length about the need to deal effectively with corruption. I would like to assure this House that we are determined to provide a government that is transparent. So on Independence Day, the most defining moment was not the Prime Minister of India unfurling the national flag at the Red Fort, but in the evening when the news spread that Sri Anna Hazare had gone and sat in the at the Rajghat, thousands of people, not brought into by buses, voluntarily started arriving there. And I want to ask you, without 144 dharas, Mayur Vihar ke residence se Anna Hazare ko giraftar karna kya nagari ka dhikaron ka rachan ka. In Lok Sabha too, the opposition ripped into the Prime Minister's argument and that job fell on Sushma Swaraj. No, 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 you have taken my name. You have named me. You have taken my name. I'm sorry. She has taken my name. You have taken his name. And after that, it was a free-for-all with parliamentarians basically shouting each other down as Manmohan Singh sat silently licking his wounds. Bureau Report, headlines today. For a live update, let's go across now to Tehar Jail. Our correspondent Akash Banerjee joins us from outside Tehar. And Akash, it seems the crowds are only swelling. It's way past nine this evening. And despite the fact that it's raining, that it's late in the evening, people still out in the streets. Have we got any word yet on whether Team Anna is prepared to accept the new conditions that have now been proposed by the government? They're agreeing to a 21-day fast for Anna Hazare. Is that acceptable to Team Anna? Uh, that, that, that's the kind of news that is trickling down here, this compromise formula. Question is, will Anna Hazare accept that 21 days? It seems that he might because he's asked the government to give it in writing. Give it in writing to me that you're going to allow me 21 days. Rahul, I apologize if I scream and shout because I can hardly hear myself. I just like to show you exactly what is going on here past 9 o'clock. And this is why perhaps the government is now going from 7 days to 21 days still not going the whole hog of 30 days. But if Anna Hazare continues to remain inside jail, he might be actually pushing for that 30-day barrier also. Take a look, 24 hours after they started their protest outside Tihar jail, and the protest is only gathering more momentum. I have spoken to many of these people here, and they say that they will continue to be here throughout the night, unless and until they see Anna Hazare come out of the gate. And that is where the entire speculation is. Which gate Anna Hazar is going to come? When is he going to come out? Is he absolutely okay or not? Because just a short while ago, there were a few medical doctors who did a routine checkup and they were worried if Anna's health condition has deteriorated or not. I'd also ask my camera person to show you the gate, the main gate of Bihar, where people are really hoping that Anna Hazare comes out from. But is he going to come out tonight? Is he going to come out tomorrow morning? Everybody is being tightly for all that. What we can tell you is that yes, the government is buckling from 7 days to 21 days and conditionalities have been removed. Anna Hazar is still insisting on his indefinite fast of at least 30 days. That's where we stand. The condition here is absolutely one of joyousness because these people are celebrating a victory. They are saying that Anna is winning. Well, there are thousands of people at Tehar Jail. An equally large number at India Gate, at Chhatrasal Stadium and across the country. So who are all these people? What makes them give up their day jobs, come out in the streets? Protesters as the government thinks they are. Do they belong to the RSS as the government has been alleging? What brings these people on the streets and who are they? It's a cause that has fired the imagination of a nation. A movement 